Okay, so financial routine today, I closed out my budget for July and I'm ready to start my August tracking period and August budget. Um, but first, let's go over here to July. So I also prep my wallet for August. I'm using the Budget Mom Organizer wallet, um, but I have my cash teller slip. This is ready to go to the bank with me so I can pull out cash to stuff my envelopes. Now for August, for my envelopes, I'm stuffing these different things so food $900 miscellaneous 50 and then the rest are my sinking fund savings so my wedding I that's just my um better write that down that's my wedding anniversary um so I got that all done I got my teller slip ready to take to the bank and then what I did is I got all of my spending trackers ready so I have household spending tracker my pet spending tracker fun health and beauty gas and then i do have my food and miscellaneous cash envelopes that i'm gonna be having for cash spending the rest are the cashless method where i'll just be using my debit card but still tracking the balance that i have to spend for each category so with that being said let's look at july first thing i did was i filled out my where did my money go monthly budget category breakdown essentially i added up all of my spending trackers and i then organized that information into my monthly budget category breakdown so i was only over budget in one area which was my food budget i have a budget of 900 but yesterday i went to the store and I'm be sharing later on my Instagram how much I spent from that grocery haul, but um, I spent $123 over my food budget, uh, but the rest are all under budget. I was only off by a dollar or so just due to rounding. A uh, big one, I was under my goal for savings by $60, so that one I'm a little disappointed. However, I had a lot going on with different holidays happening. Um, we just got done doing not only Chris's birthday, but Dante's first birthday. And then in here in just a few days, we're having the birthday party for my son who's turning 12. So a lot happening. Overall, I'm really happy. I invested 10% of my inflow, saved um, about 22, 24%. If I go over here to my monthly debt and savings breakdown, now I don't have debt, so I track what I invest. And I always, no matter what, my baseline, my automatic investment contributions is $800. And that's 10% of my um, inflow there. It just goes, $700 goes to a joint non-retirement brokerage account. And the other $100 goes to um, a uh, individual non-retirement brokerage account for me. Now, this is outside of retirement. I don't track my retirement here just because it comes out of my paycheck. And I, what I'm budgeting here in my budget by paycheck workbook is with net income. So I max out my 401k for work every single year. It's just not shown here. These are things I do outside of retirement. For savings, I was about able to save about 24%, about $1,700. Um, a big 93% of that goes to sinking funds, which if you look at my August budget, these are all of my different sinking funds. So as you can see, I have a lot of savings goals that I'm working on. If it's in pink, it just means they're separate uh, savings accounts at my bank. So if I go to my monthly spending comparison worksheet i spent more in some of these categories than i did last month health and beauty i was over holiday i was over big time just because i had all those different things happening i was over in household by 208 last month we made the switch um i was investing 500 dollars into a 529 um, my that account to me is as funded as i want it to be for my child's education so we're now moving that to the joint account which you saw in july uh, but all in all not too bad the reason i was over household and if you have questions go back to your expense trackers so that's right that's why i spent a little bit over 
that 200 is for that garbage purchase. So, okay, if we go into August, so my budget is done for August. One of the things that I did do is I wrote down on my expense tracker, my checking account, what is the, because not only am I closing out July, I'm starting August now. So what am I starting with in my checking account today? That is my starting balance on my checking account, on my worksheets, on my budget. That's also known as my checking account cushion. So I am 100% ready. I have my envelopes ready. I have my expense tracker ready for August. And I also have that budget ready to go for my, my um, spending plan. And that's what I have going on for my financial routine.